There's a court case I'm going to follow because of a similarity with another. It's the recovery of 16 firearms in Red Deer believed to have been stolen. They were found in a home not far from a couple of schools. 16 guns and a thousand rounds of ammunition. One of the five people arrested was taken into custody after a vehicle stop. Police may not have realized how dangerous that stop could have been. He had a handgun stashed in the driver's side door panel and another gun wedged between the driver's seat and the center console, which held 50 rounds of ammunition. Now, here's what caught my attention. He was already under a 10-year firearms prohibition from a previous case. He already had a firearms ban, but he had guns just like Sean Rain, who killed RCMP Constable David Wynn. Rain had overlapping firearms bans that were not worth the paper they were written on. This fellow has just one firearms ban so far, and I'm waiting to see what happens in court. Will he eventually be set free with yet another firearms ban, or will they keep him inside? Let me know what you think will happen. I'm Bob Layton.